Hey guys, this is Gabby with Brain Education TV. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. We make weekly videos of wellness tips for the brain. And if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. In this video, I will talk about how to stay motivated by creating a clear direction for your goals and tying it into a brain education principle called where your mind goes, energy follows. So motivation, in a sense, is the desire or willingness to do something. For some people, it's hard to stay motivated because of their outside circumstances, their outside stresses, their excuses, or their lack of a clear goal. How can you be motivated to do something without knowing what you clearly want? So the first step in becoming motivated is really choosing what you want. I know that may sound obvious, but for some people, it's either hard to find the time or it's hard to fully commit to something. If that's you, then it's best to find some time to meditate and be away from outside distractions and sit down and really figure out your short-term goals and your long-term goals. The best way for your brain to do this is to first write down your goals on paper. There's a study that found that you are 42% more likely to achieve your goals and be motivated to achieve your goals if you write them down on paper. After you write down a long-term goal, then think about the steps it would take to reach that. So if you want to get into a certain school, get a certain job, or make a certain amount of money, you need to think about the steps it would take to get there. So whether it's applying, filling out an application, networking with someone specific, things like that, write down what you think those short-term goals would be to reach your long-term goal. Next, after you have chosen those goals, I'd like to introduce the principle of where the mind goes, energy follows. So this is a powerful brain education principle that states that what you think about, that's where your energy goes. So if you're thinking about random things, your mind is scattered, or if you're mindlessly scrolling through social media all day or watching TV, then that's where your energy and intention are going. If you focus your mind on something, then your energy will go there. So then it's very important to have a clear goal because if more of your focus is there, then more of your energy will go there. And when something has a lot of energy, whether mental energy or physical energy, then more work will go into making it come true. Think about it this way. If you put a lot of time and effort into something, into a goal, it's much more likely to come true because all your focus and effort are there. So the same goes with this principle. If your mind is there, then your energy and intention are there. And I know it's hard to stay focused on one goal. There's so many distractions that come into our lives and then we can lose motivation. But there are ways to keep reminding yourself of your goal. The first way would be to write down your goals and look at them on paper, especially in the morning when you wake up or before you go to bed, or even you can create alarms or reminders on your phone with many apps that can pop up throughout the day and just keep you constantly reminded. Another way is to create a mood board or a collage of some sort that you can put up in your house or in your office or even have it as the wallpaper on your phone so that you constantly keep looking at it and keep reminding yourself. So when you have a clear goal and you keep reminding yourself to focus on it, then you send more energy to it and that means that you have fully chosen it. Then that makes you naturally become motivated. That's all for today on my mini lesson on how to be motivated with a clear specific goal and the brain education principle of where your mind goes, energy follows. I will link below some more information on this topic if you're interested and especially some more information on sending energy and things like that and what that really means. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to comment down below. We look at all the comments and try to answer all of them. And I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in another video.